Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I want to do today is to show you all how to have your trucking company business plan financial projections ready in about 30 minutes or less. So it sounds like a um, pretty pretty steep feat, especially when a lot of people really struggle with their financial projections. But if, if you use a proven financial model um, that is you know available on my website, you can go ahead and customize that and you know have your business plan financial projections ready for your trucking company uh, lickety split so let me show you how to do that what i'm going to do is first and foremost set your expectations for the video give you a little bit of background about me and then once i'm done with that we're going to dive into uh, the business the financial model that i've got as a template show you how to customize that to have your trucking company business plan financials ready and then uh, finally if you like what you see I'll introduce you to my website where you can go ahead and purchase those uh, financial model. All right, so let's go ahead and zip on through this little PowerPoint presentation here. So first and foremost, the uh, the whole purpose of this video is to show you all how to take a financial model that's already geared towards the trucking industry, how to update it, modify it, and make it yours that you can use in your trucking company business plan, specifically for the financial models and the pro forma financial projections. So what is it good for? It's great for business plans. Um, any business plan that I've seen, that I've written, you always wanna have financial projections in there. And a you know it's just a template, a boilerplate financial projection for a trucking company. It's really, it it might flip the bill because you know let's be honest, you know trucking companies you're, you're gonna you're gonna haul freight, you're gonna make a lot of money. It's as simple as that. And the, the only thing that's really gonna change is gonna be the mileage and the you know how much you're gonna how much how many miles you're gonna drive a day and how much money are you going to make per mile. And then you've got some variable costs for gas and such. But I'll I'll go into all that stuff in just a little bit. All right. So what is this good for? It's good for your business plan it's also good for sales projections if you've got a load or if your average loads are you know three fifty or four dollars an hour or four dollars a mile you're going to be able to plug that into the financial model and see you know estimate what your profits are going to be and it's also good for benchmarking you know if you want to make 150 175 thousand dollars in a year well guess what you're going to have to start today in order to get to that 150 thousand dollars in a year and you're going to have to have benchmarks throughout the year to make sure you're on track the financial model that I'm going to introduce you to that you can customize, it's going to be um, beneficial and helpful for that. Now, there are some restrictions to my financial model. It's not the end all be all of every financial model has ever been created. There are some restrictions. First and foremost, it is an Excel file. You do need to have a Microsoft Office, specifically Excel, in order to manipulate it and um, update it. Um, also, if you do buy my financial model, my business or my business plan template, it is I, I do. If you have questions before you make the purchase, be delighted to answer them about, you know, what the financial model will do or what the business plan template will do. But after you make that purchase, I provide you with templates and I, I'm sorry, I provide you with tutorials on how to modify and update it. The, a tutorial such as this. So just keep that in mind before you make the purchase for the, um, the trucking company template, be delighted to have the conversation afterwards. I'll gear you, I'll, I'll steer you towards the, um, the financial, I'm sorry, but the, 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 the tutorials that I've already created, I've, I've created like seven or eight, nine, 10 different tutorials um, based on my models and my templates. So I'll steer you that way. All right. Anyways, final is going to be my experience. I am a professional business writer, also a professional financial modeler. Um, and what that means is it doesn't mean I'm going to model clothes, but it means that I, I create financial models for companies, um, you know, for just about any industry you can think of, especially the trucking industry. Love those. Um, as a professional modeler, if you have some challenges, if you write up your trucking company business plan and you're ready to go with it, but you're still getting tripped up with the financial projections, even after watching this video and the other tutorials that I have out there for you, you're still getting tripped up. Keep, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Be delighted to help you with your financial projections. If you want some help with understanding what the heck these financial projections mean, yes, you got them. You put your information in there, but you really have no clue on what this information means. Um, go to my go to Amazon.com and put my name in there, Paul Borowski. I do have some financial projection books out there to help you understand the financial terms. And finally, my education. Um, I am an adjunct professor, specifically um, business and finance, as well as a subject matter expert. So again, need some help with your financials, pick up the phone, give me a call, I'd love to help. All right, with that said, if you go ahead and um, in a little bit, I'll show you how to buy my template for 
the um, trucking company. But if you're going to start a trucking company, the template that I do sell online, it comes with a Word document, which will help you write your business plan for your trucking company, but also a financial um, a financial model that is geared towards the trucking company. This is the financial model. So if you buy that template, you will get a financial model. And in the financial model, you're going to have four tabs. You're going to have the information tab. You're going to have the profit and loss tab, the income statement tab, and then projections, which has some charts and graphs and some summary information. All of the changes that you want to make are going to be on the information tab. So it's broken up into, again, categories on each tab. The categories is going to be your daily sales. For the trucking company, it's going to be your miles. So if it's under a number, it's going to be miles. And the price is going to be how much you're going to be charging. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. Your labor, if you've got additional employees, you'd update that information here. Startup cost would be right here. Monthly fixed cost right here. And the miscellaneous information, specifically your tax rate, your monthly, gr um, your, your growth rates annually. And then also right here is your loan, in, your loan information, interest rate, and the term. All right, so if I was to um, customize this, we're going to say that um, my trucking company, I'm going to start with three drivers. If you're only going to start with one driver, then what you would do is you would highlight driver one and two, make sure it's zero right here, right click and click on hide, and now that information is gone. But we're going to start with three drivers. We're going to say the first driver, they're going to, they usually knock down about 500 miles. The price, so right now, we're going to say that the, we're we're pro, we're charging about three dollars and fifty cents per mile. Now for the um, variable cost, the variable cost with my trucking companies, what I usually do when I write trucking company business plans is I'm going to say the variable cost is about forty five percent if I'm going to be the owner operator. If I'm not going to be the owner operator, then I'm going to probably push this closer to fifty five percent variable cost. The variable cost is going to include your fuel. It's going to include your driver pay and it's going to include your maintenance. So, and the reason I include the, the fuel, the maintenance and the driver pay in the variable cost is because if your truck's not running, you're not paying fuel, you're not paying maintenance and you're not paying a driver. So you're, you're set ready to go with that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this at about 40% because I'm going to say I'm the owner operator for the first truck. Next, we're going to have an inexperienced driver. They're going to probably be pulling about 400 miles a day. And the price for this one right here, we're going to say again, is three fifty because we're not going, we're not doing anything less than three fifty a load. Um, so it's going to be three dollars and fifty cents per mile. So that's going to be the price is going to be per mile. The number is in the miles driven. So for driver one, we're saying that it's going to be about five hundred miles per day. We're going to clear about three dollars and fifty cents, and our variable cost of maintenance and fuel is about forty percent. Driver two, they're not going to be driving as much as us, so that number is going to, their mileage is probably going to be about 400 a day. We're still charging the same price per mile, 350, and we're going to bump this up a little bit higher to 55% variable cost because we're going to include the driver pay into the variable cost. And again, we talked about there's going to be three drivers, so we're going to go ahead and make this as 55% variable cost. For, we're going to say this person is going to clear 450. They're a little bit more experienced. So once we have that set up right there, we are now we what we now have is our daily sales. And right here it says that we're drivers are going to be working six days a week. If it's going to be five, then we change it to five days a week. But most drivers are going to be pulling six days. I wouldn't change this number right here. That, that's just going to um, yeah, just leave that alone. Next is going to be the labor. So we're going to pay ourselves a salary. So the salary is going to cover the executive team and we are going to be the executive team. So we're going to want $5,000 a month. So we're going to change that to 5,000 a month. Also for employees, we might need a clerical, someone for clerical, for billing, and we might need a dispatcher. So we're going to say the number of employees are going to be two. And then the average rate of pay, we're going to say is we're going to pay them probably $18 an hour. With the labor, what I like to do is I'm going to include the taxes, whatever taxes I got to pay or whatever, you know, whatever I need to cover in the rate. I'm going to I'm going to include that in the rate of pay. So if it's if you're paying somebody $16 an hour, then for this financial model, make it $18 an hour. If you have no employees, then just put zero and it's gone and you don't have to worry about it. But for this example, we're going to say we got two employees. Next is going to be our startup cost. How much money do we need to get the party started here? Um, first section right here, the first two sections is going to be the investment. How much money do we need to invest to get this started? 
we're going to say we're going to drop $25,000 into this. So we're coming to the table, equity investment, out of our pocket, $25,000. But we are going to take a loan out. So let's say each truck for three trucks, $150,000. Um, then we're going to have trailers. So let's say it's $200,000 each. So we're going to say it's about $600,000. So one fifty dollars for the truck uh, and then 50000 for the trailer gives us $200,000 each, two, um, three trailers, three trucks, three trailers, 600000 So we're going to say that we need $600,000, and then we're also going to include in here, um, we're going we're gonna to probably bump this up to 50000 So we need a total of $650,000. And we're then going to go down here to the startup cost. we got per truck purchase. I'm going to change this to truck and trailer. So we're going to get trailers as well. And then I might even put next to it three, just uh, signifying that we're going to have three trucks, three trailers, and we're going to go $600,000 right there. Office equipment, we're probably going to need a little bit of office, uh, office equipment, uh, maybe $3,500 for office equipment. Miscellaneous and licenses and prepaids. So I'll, I'll include some prepaids because we're going to have some prepaid insurance. Prepaid. And we're going to bump this up to four, eight, twelve. We're going to say fifteen thousand dollars for prepaid. We're going to up the office equipment um, so we can just get a, a closer of it to an even number. So we're going to add forty five hundred dollars to that. So let's go with eight thousand uh, dollars. Too high, seven thousand. All right. So what we've got here, um, we've just modified some of the startup costs. So we're saying right now that we're going to invest fifty thousand dollars. We're going to get a loan of $600,000. So total investment is $650,000. However, we've spent $630,000. So we need to add $20,000 somewhere. I like to make my additions when I have extra money at the working capital. Working capital, all that is, is how much money do you need to have in the bank day one once you start your business to keep the lights on, the trucks running, until you start getting you know the, the piles and piles of cash coming in. And that's going to be your working capital. So based on this right here, what we've done is we just modified our startup costs to include three trucks, three trailers, working capital, office equipment, and some prepaids. That comes up to $650,000. Our loan is $600,000. We're putting into it $50,000. Total of $650,000. So just in a few minutes, we've now aligned our startup costs for our business into categories. Next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and update our fixed costs. So since we've got three drivers and a couple of employees, we're probably going to need a location. So we're going to have to drop some rent. So let's say our rent's going to be 50. Eh, let's go a little bit higher because we're going to probably have to park our truck there. So we're going to go with rent at $2,500. If we have rent, we're going to have to pay utilities and gas and, and such like that. So let's say that's going to cost us 600 bucks. Office expenses go probably go a little bit higher. Three trucks. Let's go with a buck twenty-five. Insurance. Wow, that is a little low. We're going to have probably fifteen hundred dollars, um, fifteen hundred three, forty-five hundred dollars a month for insurance. Whatever your insurance is going to be for your trucks per truck, make sure to add it all together and put it into the insurance spot. Next is going to be our accounting and legal. Uh, Thirty dollars for accounting and legal. Let's bump it up to a hundred and ten. Advertising, a lot of truckers, they're going to go, they're going to be hitting the, um, their load boards, they're going to be hitting the brokers, so that might cost them, you know, about $150 a month. Other, if there's always going to be surprises. Anytime a business has started, um, what you can expect besides taxes and death is going to be surprises. You're not going to be able to plan for everything. So we're going to save $5,000 a month for surprises. All right, so in just a few minutes, we have now have our revenues lined up. We've got our labor taken care of. We've got our startup costs lined up and we've got our fixed monthly costs all taken care of. The only thing that we really need to do now is to slide on down here and to take a look at our our loan amount. So we've got a loan of $600,000 interest rate of 5%. Seven years might be a little low. So we're gonna say our, um, we're gonna say our term is gonna be 10 years. Once we make that change, then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the income statement and we're going to take a look at it, make sure this looks good. So based on these changes, we've got revenues of, of 1.7 million, cost of goods 855,000. All the way down here, it's going to show us a net profit of $347,000. And then from there, it just grows um, for year two, three, four, and five. And then in the projection section here, 
what we now have here is if you want to go ahead and do a financial highlight you know in your business plan then I've got an information summarized for the annual revenues for each year the cost for each year and the net profits for each year also profit margins you know based on our expectations here it's going to be 20.7 20 per 20 per 20.07 percent profit margin for the first year it's going to grow to year five to 25.92 percent um, funding amount six hundred fifty thousand dollars working capital twenty eight thousand dollars and then right here is a nice little chart showing our revenues our expenses and our net profits that you can go ahead and include in a business plan all right so hopefully this information was helpful and you, you're going to have a better understanding as to how you can go ahead and customize a financial model to best suit your needs um, based on a temple that is geared towards the trucking industry if this looks good and you like it and you want to go ahead and buy it all you got to do is go over to my website qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash trucking company business plan template and i do offer numerous tutorials that's going to help you um, with your but not only your business plan with also but the financial model as well um, i do have two trucking company business plan templates available it's a uh, let's see here it is the the basic trucking company uh, don't don't worry about the price the prices do change um, the basic trucking company um, and then i also have an advanced trucking company um, business plan template as well all right so hopefully this information was helpful if you like to give me a thumbs up on youtube if you you want to go ahead and use my financial model zip on over to my website and enjoy as always have a fantastic day thank you